GM friends, and thanks for tuning in to DeFi Logic's TA Tuesday, live in our Discord every week at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. This week, we're somewhat expecting the ETF announcement, and Legacy Market is printing new all-time highs. In today's community call, we'll review charts for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Popcat, Mog, and for Legacy Markets, S&P 500, Dow Jones, Dollar Index, NASDAQ, Gold, and finally, 10-year bonds. And with that, over to GeForce. Okay, thanks, Pepe. Like you said, we'll start with Bitcoin. Okay, so Bitcoin is pumping just ETH is, and it did it over the weekend. It cleared this 58,265 level. It was way below it, as people probably know, here on July 4th. It went all the way down to uh, 53 and change, and it's pumped back up Saturday right here, Sunday. Yesterday was a really big day. So all this is based on, as Pepe said, the ETH ETF that's supposed to come out on the uh, 23rd. So crypto's pumping after it lagged, and we see that it went all the way up yesterday and closed past the 2X upper band, which was at 64,386. And it's looking right now to clear the 65,500 level. That level I've had for a very long time. You can see all the way back, it goes back all the way to last year. And today it's uh, moving up towards it. So today things pulled back a little bit, as you can see on this wick we had today, and then it's, it's come back up. So I expect it to clear this 65,500 level. That's a main level, and we'll see what happens after that point in time. I'd like to see it get back up to this midpoint on this double top we had. If it clears that, which is at 67,000, let's just call it 67,500, then it should go back up and start to, to test this recent high i guess it's a recent high back in june this high right here on june 5th so we'll see things are moving because of the ethereum etf moving on to eth we're going to let me get a cleaner chart here again it's all about the etf and here's the levels i had basically once it cleared the 3070 level it started to go up hit the standard deviation line then pump through this upper ch channel line right here at 3352 that was just a channel we had back here on June 23rd that ran all the way to July 3rd. So now it's gone past the resistance line that we had back there. And this was a line that was support back in the middle of June. And then it became resistance at the end of June and the first part of July. So that also was a, it just pumped through that yesterday. So it cleared that 3352 level. And then it also, pump and then pass the 3,469 level as well. So it's uh, it's really doing well. Again, all ETF news. So let's see where our, our next target would be. Next target would be at this level here. So we're looking all the way back here on uh, June 15th and let's draw a line here. And that level right here would be basically 3622. So let's just say 3600. So let's see if it gets up to uh, 3600 and we'll see where it goes from there request was to have a popcat so let's look at popcat real quick and see what we got with that it's pumping as well and let's see if we can get some parameters here so you'll look that it flattened out back here in the first part of june dropped just like all the rest of crypto did but let's look at uh, july 4th because that's when crypto really tanked what it happened okay so here's july 3rd and july 4th it stayed above this upper or moving upward standard deviation line. This black line here is a standard deviation line. Okay, so it didn't go below it or it didn't close below it and it bounced off of it on July 5th, came back down and it's hovered around that standard deviation line. So at that point, we're looking at basically, it's strong, actually strong. It's, it's not getting too far below that standard deviation line and then it's pumped with the rest of crypto because of the ETF. So it's climbing like crazy right now. It's uh, yesterday, it closed way above the upper 2X band and it's also going now to the 3X band. So these blue lines are basically, this is a, an upper 2X or 2X standard deviation line. And then this upper band is a 3X standard deviation line. Okay, so that's 
Basically, this is 2x times the black line and the upper band is 3x times the black line. Those are the bands that I follow. Basically, they're Bollinger bands. They work extremely well, especially even in crypto. It definitely works with Bitcoin and, and ETH. And it also works with smaller coins as well. It's getting better and better because of algorithmic training and computer trading. It's just, it, it keeps on working. Moving on to MOG. We're going to look at MOG because that was a request as well. So MOG is actually looking even better with the Bollinger Bands. Okay, so it went up to the uh, upper 2x band. Cl Once it closed below the standard deviation line, then yeah, it dropped. Okay, and of course, crypto was dropping at that point. So it closed way high above that standard deviation line on June 24th. So you can see it climbing up, gets above the 2x band, touches the 3x band here on uh, January, excuse me, June 29th, and it's gone down again. It hovered like uh, Popcat did around the standard deviation line, this black line, and then it's popped back up again. You can still get some trading insights on how it does on the standard deviation line and how it does on the, the upper 2x band and 3x band. Now, the opposite of that is there's a lower 2x band, which is here, and also 3x band. So it does the same thing on these bands, whether it's an upper band or a lower band, it does the exact same thing. So. Keep looking at those, that'll give you some insight. Plus, if you follow the news and the chatter on what's going on, you'll probably trade extremely well, okay? So that's it with crypto. We're gonna move on to legacy markets now. So the S&P 500 is just going nuts, okay? It, here, I'll adjust it. It blew past the 5,500 level back here in the first part of July. So as crypto was tanking, the legacy markets were pumping, okay? It's just gone up to the 2x band and keeps falling. Went to 5,600, no problem. Had a one day retracement back, which was on July 11th, which is what it's supposed to do. It, when it clears it significantly, which the day before on uh, July 10th, it closed at uh, 56.33. So 33 points above that 5,600 level. Came back down, closed below that 5,600 level, which I call that a head fake. So it goes up, goes down, as a head fake, people think, oh, it's going to go lower, and then it just pops back up. And right now, it's riding the uh, upper 2x band. So you can see how it keeps tagging it, coming back, tagging it, and it's just climbing. I think it's still going to climb up that 2x band, basically, because everybody expects a rate cut in September, that the Federal Reserve Bank is going to do a rate cut in September, uh, which means cheaper money is coming, and the markets are taking off because of that. The Dow is having a great day today, looking up over 500 points, 562 points. And again, this is all interest rate cuts. So the Dow, even though it was lagging a little bit last year, actually quite a bit last year from NASDAQ, because it doesn't really have an AI stock, now it's pumping up. It's way above this 40,000 level. Let's draw this line out straight. And you can see it right now that it's just hitting that upper 3X band. So. We expect a pullback because this is extremes for the markets. When it, when legacy markets hit a uh, upper three X band, that's an extreme, and it should start to pull back. So, how much of a pullback? Probably not much, but it should pull back some part of this week. Tomorrow, probably Wednesday or Thursday, but sometime this week it should pull back because this is at an extreme level right now. We'll move over to uh, DXY. We'll put that in. Not much to say about it. It's hitting my lower level of 104, and which is below the lower 2x band right here. And it's just moving up. It's interesting though that DXY, which is a dollar index, was in sync with crypto. Usually it's an inverse correlation, but it wasn't sync. So that's interesting. This last drop, it was in sync with uh, crypto. So don't know what to make about that to be straight up with you guys. It's usually an inverse correlation, but it didn't happen. Markets change, maybe they're going to go in lockstep. Moving now down to the uh, US 10 year bond. Okay, see, so, so this chart is the bond yield. Okay. And <clears throat> looking at this, so the yields have gone down. It tried to reach that uh, 4.5 level back here in the first part of July, July 1 and 2, and it's tanked ever since. So that's basically because uh, the Federal Reserve is going to cut interest rates, which means they should cut interest rates in September. That's what everybody's thinking. And they will probably do that because they don't want to mess with the election either. Although that interest rates and in economy is being a side issue right now with what's going on in politics. Anyway, this is probably going to drop even further because of the rate interest rate cut. So it's it gone below this level here, which is a recent low. 
this level here of uh, 4.2 percent and it'll probably just keep going lower at that point okay last but not least is gold gold i've been covering it a lot this year and the end of last year so gold is just popping okay the 2400 level it cleared it way back here in may i, I called that shot I was looking for a close back here in April, but it never closed above it. We finally got a close here in the middle of May, and then it's dropped back down. This May was basically the Hamas stuff and Israel and Iran issues. It uh, never really, even though it closed below 2300 back here in July 7th, or June 7th and June 10th, it really never tanked below it. So there's hope and it's just gone up. So. This close here at 2400, I think now 2400 is going to be no longer resistance level, but it's going to be a support level because you can see today it's up, it's up 2459. The high today was right here. It's a 20, 2465. So gold is looking good. It's just gone parabolic. If you guys haven't been following us for a while, uh, I'll just show you how parabolic it's been all the way back here in March where it was around 2038. 2040 and it's just gone up even though it's gone sideways all the way since april it's gone sideways at a major higher level which is above 2300. all right that's all i have for today hopefully you guys got some good information on that and i'll switch it over to pepe that's it for this week join our server for daily charts discussions alpha and more thanks for joining we'll see you next week at 10 a.m mountain time in the server or here on youtube if you're watching the recording gm starts Join us next week in Discord for TA Tuesday at defylogic.com.